One Piece film rant is just released in Japan, I believe. And I've seen some stuff from it, just a few snippets. I don't want to spoil the whole thing for myself. I definitely won't be spoiling it on this video. But just from the little bit I've seen, like it got me hype enough to want to make this video because this this is the shanks they're going to be putting in One Piece Vine Rush eventually. I think it's inevitable at this point. We just got Uta. It, he's coming. He's coming. Shanks is coming. And oh my goodness. In I, in the movie, he, he just, yeah. So let's talk about Shanks and why I think he's going to be basically by far the best EX in the game when he arrives. Or the best unit. Whatever he is, Bounty Fest EX, I, he's probably going to be a Bounty Fest. I mean, imp, uh, he's probably going to be an extreme unit honestly because uh, it's shanks that's literally all and sure if you know me you know i'm a i'm a just a, a tiny like the tiniest bit you know the smallest bit biased towards shanks just a little bit um so maybe i'll exaggerate a little bit but i think in general i don't think there's a way to make him bad i guess there is a way but like you have to watch the movie anyways so let's talk about who who holds the title of the most broken ex on release ever right now and that is Roger, King of the Pirates, and Shanks' former captain. So you, you already see a little bit of a, a little bit of the connection right there. I'm, just, I'm, I'm reaching right there, but Roger on release came out. Nobody could stop him. Um, Dress vs. Zoro tried, failed. Garp tried, did it for a bit. He's, I guess, they released him as a counter, but then Roger really didn't stop. They just kept trying. Kid Law Akainu was finally where Roger, you know, dropped a little bit, but he's still on top right now, and that's just a testament to what bandai can do when they want to make a character who deserves the hype insanely broken obviously we can there are some outliers like prime whitebeard and prime garp who you know fell off really fast and even though prime whitebeard got a buff he's still kind of mediocre but you know that's the king of the pirates right there so why do i think they'll give the same treatment to shanks why do i think shanks is going to be one of the most broken no, the most broken EX ever. Well, like I said at the beginning, first of all, it's Shanks. It's Shanks. And honestly, I could leave it right there. That's all I need to say. But let's keep going. This is the first time we've seen Shanks in action in years, decades, almost. Like, it's it's been so long. And yet, Shanks still holds... Shanks is the most hyped character in One Piece as a whole. Like, despite him not even showing up, for more than like 10 minutes total in the entirety of one piece and we're finally getting a movie now where we're learning that he has a whole daughter we're gonna see his crew in action we're gonna see him in action um like this this is this is the first time we're gonna see shanks like do something and even before shanks was doing anything even before we knew shanks was gonna do something he was still gener generating hype just from his name being mentioned in the manga or in the anime like that's who shanks is like you could argue that shanks to the One Piece fan base is more relevant and hype than Roger himself. Like most people will say, who gets the more hype? It will probably be Shanks. And now, th now imagine all that hype from not even being seen more for more than 10, 15 minutes in the entirety of One Piece as a whole in the canon, of course. Now imagine that hype and then add it onto a whole movie where he's in action and we see him and. We get to see see his past, his history, his daughter, me, everything. Now, now imagine that, and then imagine Bandai's, you know, money laundering. Okay, it's not money laundering, but milking of, you know, their customers as they call us. Um, but imagine that Bandai wants to make as much money from this super hype character, who who generates hype without even being there, be, without even being on screen sometimes. And you get basically probably the most broken ex who will probably cost a lot of money but people will still summon simply because of the name of the character shanks red-haired shanks the strongest emperor the strongest person in one piece the all right, all right, let me not get ahead of myself let me let me calm down but like you got like if you know me if you've been here for a while you know how much i love shanks like anything shanks is just so hyped to me and i'm literally making this video straight like this is, this is straight off the top of my head this is just what i'm thinking my th raw thoughts about what's gonna happen with shanks i cannot say anything at all about what is gonna uh what's going what he's gonna show in the movie so yeah would if you want to see just go watch the movie when it comes out i think it's coming out in like august or september or something in globally 
maybe i know it's coming out in the fall in canada so it's probably going to be around that time in the u.s as well but definitely check out the movie i don't even need to say tell you to check out the movie most of you guys are going to check out the movie yourselves but i think shanks might come before the movie drops globally so we might get you might get spoiled anyway but yeah i, I know i'm going to be summoning and for like it's not going to be easy i might not even getting i only have like one uh, 1100 rainbow diamonds but I will be summoning regardless. And I genuinely, I think he's going to be the best character in the game by far. Like, I don't think there will be anyone even close to him when he drops. Like, oh my god. Anyways, uh, let me end the video before I, before I go on a rant about how much I love Shanks. But that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Shanks is going to be the next king of OPBR? Or is he going to be a flop? like prime white beard uh no respect no disrespect to white beard fans you know we all know he was a he was a little bit of a letdown but um yeah let me know what you guys think the next king of opvr or the next white beard and uh i'll catch y'all in the next one peace